It can be a game of high emotions. Win, lose or draw, however, Clonturk Community College has always blown the whistle when it comes to the disrespect of referees. We place an emphasis on respecting them and their decisions and although we may not agree necessarily with them, uh, it's important to understand the procedures that they go through to reach those decisions at times. But it's something that these promising players have sometimes witnessed. I play 17s, League of Ireland and we don't have any linesmen so it's the ref trying to do the job all by himself and the parents just give them hell. The last couple of years I've, I've done coaching in my club with younger teams and stuff. I've opted to go down that route more than the referee inside because I've seen the abuse referees get my own matches. Sporting bodies including the GAA, IRFU and FAI were before the Oireachtas Sport Committee today to discuss rising levels of abuse directed at referees. We have the full spectrum. We've had everything from referees being physically attacked or types of intimidation was, we'll get you in the car park, we know where you live, we'll see you. Politicians were told that there were three recent cases where referees were assaulted in Dublin, resulting in long-term suspensions for players. Glenn Geraghty was one of those referees. There's more education aimed towards coaches at underage and parents as well, wherever way we can go with the parents. And then there's also an angle where you could get uh, each club to send out um, uh, somebody who could liaise on the sideline. There were also calls for tougher sanctions and an acknowledgement from the GAA that referee abuse is likely underreported. All organisations agreed that there is room for improvement. Tommy Meskel, RT News, Leinster House.